Bem-vindo, amigos. Bruno Benigno, direto de Milão, 38º Congresso da Sociedade Europeia de Urologia. Eu estou aqui para trazer para vocês uma novidade que está ganhando cada vez mais espaço no mercado do tratamento da hiperplasia benigna da próstata, que é o Aquabin, que é um, um tipo de tratamento em que não há altura, e sim a utilização de água em uma alta pressão. Para me ajudar, eu tenho aqui Daniel. Nice to meet you, Daniel. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. It's a, our pleasure. So, uh, I would like to understand for our fellow residents yeah. and as well for our patients, what is new about this technology? What is makes what it makes you different from yeah. the other kind of kind yeah. of treatments available? Yeah. When this resected technique looking to to change the VPA market to to have a very simple procedure where every surgeon has good results, okay. the patient has a benefit, and the hospital has okay. a benefit. And before we go into the technical details, let's talk about the benefits, Perfect. just very generally. Okay. Of course, what most important is the patient. The patient does well very quickly, and from the clinical data point of view, which, which is free accessible, 90% of our patients keep the ejaculatory function. This is impressive. I just saw a data the, from uh, a randomized trial yeah. showing that about 98% of patients in five years are free of retreatment yeah. and uh, about 14% of patients, only 14% yeah. of patients lost their ejaculation function. So it's a very yeah. impressive result in yeah. yeah. the five years of follow-up. That's really kept my attention. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. So could you explain to us how uh, how the system works? Really? Before we start, let's let's start with the the benefits really okay quick. look i think patient patient benefit is clear mm -hmm. but if we then take the patient uh, the benefit for the physician if you imagine you're the chief physician and you have maybe eight physicians someone does a trp good some has challenges or is a good enucleation guy but what we try to do you can well, whoever does the procedure has it's the it's same it's outcomes it's standardize the procedure yeah, it's standardize the procedure you can yeah. standardize and, the procedure. and for the hospital management perspective you are very efficient in OR time management because if the prostate is 60 cc or 160 cc, the OR time always is around 40 minutes. So it, it's independent from the prostate independent size. Yeah. The prostate. This, this said very generally, let's have a look at the procedure. In a very general view, we don't want to mess around with details too much. Okay. But the basic idea of our product is that you have a simultaneous dual imaging. So during the entire procedure, you have our trust probe which okay. gives you the ultrasound image on the planning unit. And at the same time, within the handpiece, you have a scope. So you also have the cystoscopic image. Cystoscopic in combination with truss, which allows you to make a very patient individual treatment planning. You if said uh, the treatment uh, during is about 40 minutes. Yeah. It doesn't matter the size of the prostate. Yeah. More, more or less. Yeah. More or less 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. If you take all of our clinical data and you make the mean time, it's okay. 37 minutes. Okay. And then basically said, our audience knows what a truss is. Yes, yes. It knows the resectoscope. Yes. This is what we have, our aquablation handpiece and the truss. And the idea is once both both instruments are inserted into a patient, you don't need to move anything anymore. It's just about planning with this okay. planning unit. It is a kind of magnetic it's, it's a magnetic it's uh, attachment, is that right? It's basically locked. This is a freehand move to insert it into a patient and once it's on, in position. The physician more likely takes the arms okay. and connects it to the. Oh, this is patient. okay. Okay, yeah. very nice. You can, you can handle it. Okay, very nice. Yeah. It's very smooth, smooth movement. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. And one, but important for you, once this is in position, you are finished. So you just leave it in position. You do the planning here. Does the system has any kind of safety profile that identifies that a uh, shooting is not going well and automatically interrupt the treatment? Does it has any kind of safety system inside of it, or it's a kind of a visual stuff? Like I'm a treating physician, yeah. I'm, I have to look all the time if the machine is doing the right job. Is that right? Or no, the machine the, can self-correct or self uh, and yeah. auto stop yeah. the procedure. I'm, I'm happy to get you through the planning steps, and you will see the maximum penetration depth is 24.3 millimeters. Okay. It's impossible to shoot the capsule or do any any damage to the prostate, but if you want to come a little bit yes. closer, I can run you through the, the planning process. So in this case, is our simulation software to get a, a basic idea of what the treatment looks like. And in this case, what we are doing now, it's a 100 cc prostate, 100 gram. In this case, you have the sagittal ultrasound image. And in this
procedure, you can now see how the physician inserted the handpiece into the patient. You bring it into the bladder and then you need to align truss and the handpiece in order to have a nice image. This is now the process, it's very detailed, but what you want to have in the end, before you proceed with the treatment planning, you want to have an image which looks like this. You can see all the anatomy, we have a yes. medium lobe, we can see the sphincter, we can see the bladder. Perfect. This is the perfect image you want to have before you start with the treatment. And then we can already proceed with the planning steps. So if we, if we proceed, it starts with the, with the angle planning. So you can do three types of uh, angle planning. The first one will be done mid-prostate at the largest diameter. You can plan an individual angle planning for the bladder neck. And very important, you can also plan a medium lobe. So you can, you can treat, we say in our marketing material, you treat all sizes and all shapes. Medium lobe, without a medium lobe, big lateral lobes, whatever it is, you can treat with aquablation. And if we take a look at the angle planning, on the ultrasound image, you have those two white lines. This is the hyperechoic image from our handpiece. So you must consider the upper line is the aspiration tubing and the lower one is the actual water jet to that's resection. Okay. And from a surgeon's point of view, all you need to do, you place our both yellow lines, you just align with the hyperchoic image and then say, oh, this is my medium lobe. Maybe we can here go to the number two, reduce the power a bit. You can adjust the angles, judging on what the medium lobe looks like. Once this is done, you do the same with the prostate. But you can see maybe when we talk in the meantime about the uh, layout, you can see all those planning steps. Okay. The system leads you through the, pr through the process. And from a safety point of view, which you addressed, you're not able to switch to skip any of those. Okay. You always have to make those, those series of planning steps in order to proceed with the procedure. Now in this, we can pause here. So the surgeon okay. moved the truss to, to mid-prostate. Now you do the same. You align the treatment contour. Then you can see penetration depth, how deep you want to go. And then you can see number three is outside the capture. And you, as you can see now, the entire anat at anatomy which is different for every patient, you then just can do the planning steps. Now we come to the final treatment contour planning. Now we decide which tissue you want to be removed. The robot assists you in a regard that you only need, give, need to give four landmarks. The first one is treatment start. The second anatomy marker is bladder neck. Then you define the mid prostate and our scope tip. So I talked about the cystoscopic image you have our scope attached to the handpiece and the handpiece always sits on your external sphincter. So the, your scope protects the sphincter. This is why we have 0% incontinence rate with aquablation. Put it here and then you confirm and based on your landmarks, the robot automatically gives you an example of what the treatment could look like. Based on the information you, you, you fed the robot with, this would be the treatment. Okay. And now we can, you as a surgeon, you're the expert, you have full visibility, you can actually see the anatomy finally and do the best possible treatment planning for this specific patient. Okay. And now you can say, hmm, maybe we should be a little bit more conservative around the bladder neck. You can adjust whatever you want to. And now I told you about the patient benefit of 90% preservation, preservation of ejaculatory function. And this is due to the yellow zone. The yellow zone you can see here is our very protection zone. So if you consider during the resection, which, which will start shortly, the windscreen wiper movement is resecting the tissue and the water jet um, has a pressure of 600 bar. The, okay. the tissue will just be erased. And in the area of the very protection zone, we spare the 30 degrees around the very montano. Okay. So the entire tissue is preserved. And the fact is, why we, do we have such a high rate of ejaculatory preservation? It must be, it has to do with our, with our water, it's seed free. So we have normal saline, which is at room temperature. So we spare the sphincter, which you could also do with other techniques, okay. but we don't put any heat in the nerves and the tissue around the very Oh, Let's see the treatment. We proceed. We need to confirm our planning process. And then all you do as a physician, you step under the foot pedal and watch what what the water jet does. And you now can see within three minutes, one on perceived prostate is resected. Whenever you see something concerning or you're not sure, whenever you go off the pedal, the treatment stops or pauses. 
and you can continue whenever you you want to. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much for Thank you. your kind of presentation. Yeah. Eu espero yeah. que vocês tenham gostado it, e que yeah. a gente se vê. Your final considerations, you have any message to our colleagues in Brazil? The company out of San Francisco, we step by step. Okay. And I'm, I, I would be, be happy if we would go to Brazil soon. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Bye. See you. See you guys.